go special people, but we don't. We look at ourselves and be like, God, I don't look the way I want to look. Hell no, I don't look the way I want to look. But you know what? I know I'm special in the, in the sight of the Most High. Why? Because right. He chose us and not no other. So when you fill out an application, you put Afro-American, right? Or you put other. Love, you put other because you don't dad. really know. But now you know. Now you know. Because your dad, you are what your dad is. Get that in um, Numbers. Read. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their father. So sis, you are what your father is, right? Yeah. You're from the tribe of Judah because you're that's the indigenous. The, no, no. This is the uh, Judah Benjamin Levi. Is that's the southern kingdom? Okay. The indigenous ones that you're saying starts here and go down. They were the ones that's already on this side of the world before these tribes came over. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So this is southern kingdom, Judah Benjamin Levi. So these top three would be more Israelites. No, 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 no. It's not that the more Israelites. They're all the same, right? We're all, cause it says 12 tribes. You okay. can't, I mean, all 12 of them, right? What am I showing you? That you're from the tribe of Judah. You know who else came from that tribe? We, you don't know? Jesus. We're going to say it again? Jesus. Jesus, right? And it's in the Bible. Yahweh. Did you know it was in the Bible? Huh? Yahweh. Yeah, hey, Yahweh, Jesus, whatever. Hey, they ain't no, that's just, that's the title. Those are titles. Those are titles, right? Got, uh, Hebrews got, chapter yeah, 7 yeah, yeah, and verse 14. <clears throat> For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It is evident that our Lord. Who's our Lord, sis? Who's our Lord, sis? Jesus, Jesus right? Yeah. It is evident that he it's evident that he sprang out of Judah, right? Yes, sir. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Yeah, we have women, we have wives, but see, they don't come out here with us. They're back home taking care of the children. Or uh, when we had a Sabbath, they had school taking care of the children, right? This is the book of Titus, chapter 2, and verse 3. Read out. The age women likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things. So that's what our sisters do, sis. They teach the women who they are. And you know how to be women, how to take care of their children, so on and so forth, right? Do you think you're still in captivity? You don't have to go back there. You don't think you're still in captivity? The Bible tells us that we're still in captivity, right? You didn't know it? I'm going to show it to you in the Bible. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Read out. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Read on. Where thou hast scattered us. So we've been scattered. When we came over here on those slave ships, we were scattered from our homeland, right? It shows you right here. We are scattered from our homeland, right? That's right. So if we were scattered from our homeland, we didn't go into our land. We went into another man's land, right? Out. Right? With that being said, so now you see that we're uh, it's still in captivity, right? I'm showing you that we're still in captivity because you pay taxes, right? If you want anything, who you got to get it from? Get that verse 47. If you want anything, who you got to go to to get it? The, the who? Don't be scared. White man. Exactly. The, what, the so called white man, because he pink. When the sun hit him, he turned pink. He ain't white. That's how I'm white. Read up. Right? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. We didn't do what he said in the first 14 verses of Deuteronomy 28. That was a blessing, right? We did 15, read. And with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Okay, do we own any factories? Do we, uh, do we employ people as a, as, a, as a nation? No, read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Lord has sent against thee. He sent the other nations against, against us, read. In hunger. In, and when you want something to eat, where you go to get it? The restaurant, who owns it? Yeah, the other nations, right? So-called, so-called white man. That's right. Okay, he knows where he's from because he, he put his name after his, his mountains. The Caucasus Mountains is in Georgia, Russia. That's where he came from. That's why they call Caucasian. Right. Right? Cave Read. dwellers. Yeah, they believe, mean cave dwellers. That's what that means, Caucasus. 
cave dwellers, read. And in thirst. You want anything to drink? Well, you go and get it. The store, who owns that? The, the, the other nations, white people. They ain't the only one on it, read. And in nakedness. And when you want something to put on your body, where you go? Go to, go to them, right? And in want of all things. So if you die, I got you have to wait. Go to the white man, get a piece of paper before I can put you in the ground. So are we free? So that shows you that you're not free, that you're in bondage and in slavery still to this day. Just because you have a job, a car, and a place to live don't make you free. Right? The Bible said whom the Son set free is free indeed. Has God come and set us free yet? No. So... Is that in on it? Some more. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So who, who's the only people that had a yoke of iron around their neck? Who's the only nation that had a yoke of iron around their neck? See them yokes around the neck, don't you? Remember that movie that Will Smith made not too long ago about the slave right here? I think I watched it. Right. Well, watch it. It's, it's true. That's a, that's a true picture. That's a true slave. They got yokes of iron around their neck, right? right? Yokes of iron. Look at here. They got yokes on their hands and bound up, right? The slaves, right? Right? Because we didn't hearken to the Most High. He put us in this situation through the other nations, through the other nations, right? Get out. So one of them. Well, the Indians were slaves too, right? Yeah, Indians. That's them right there. They say, see, he said, this is the Northern Kingdom. This is the Southern Kingdom. That's talking about the split that happened. Back during um, King Solomon, after King Solomon died, right? So you had the Northern Kingdom, Northern Kingdom, the Indians, the Black, uh, the Incas, the Aztecs, Aztecs the Mayans, Northern Kingdom, like like um, Mexican, so-called Mexican. There is a car, the bottom one next to the end there, right? Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, right? But if you don't read, if we don't show you in the Bible, you're not going to know because your pastor's not going to show you this. All he's going to do is give you a song and a dance and ask you to pay him. That's right. When he just got paid just like you do because he got a job too. If he's not, he's living off of you. That's what T.D. Jakes and, and Creflo Dollar and all the rest of them do. They live off our people. They don't live off of nothing else, right? So what am I showing you? That you're still in captivity, right? Read verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. He said, thou, thou is going to serve our enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So he sent them against us. We didn't do this to ourselves. They, they, they came against us because the Most High sent them against us. Because we didn't listen to them. Read. In hunger. In hunger. And in thirst. In thirst. And in nakedness. Read. And in want of all things. Like I said, a want of all things. When you want something... That means you lack it. And you got to go to somebody else to get it. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Show the yoke to thee. They only, that only happened to the people on the side right here. Ain't no white person came. They came over on the ship. Why? But they were free. When they got here, they got land lighted to them when they got here. We got put in chains. We worked the cornfields, right? We um, picked the cotton. Look down there. That's right. Right? We were, that stuff happened to us right here. We did that. And guess what the women had on? They had dresses on, sis. They ain't had no pants. We ain't know what no pants was coming over here. Right? Are you still there? Yeah, read 41. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. We said we'll get sons and daughters, right? But thou shalt not enjoy them. We, we don't get to enjoy them. Why? For they shall go into captivity. Your, even your kids are in captivity, right? So we'll be get sons and daughters, right? So like, say, you got your children? You got sons. So is he older or younger? Older. When he was a kid, you did something, whooped him, beat him, and the neighbor called DSA. Right, so I'm saying, if you did, if you had, right? The, the neighbors called DSA, they come and take that child from you. Could you get that child back? You got to go through the system, right? You can't even say, okay, this is my child, I did wrong. I want to take him on. They said, no. Next thing you know, a year one went by. Two years went by. Ten, ten years get by. Cause you couldn't, you couldn't get your no children mic. back. You ain't have no mic. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Have you seen 12 years of slaves? No, 
you say root? I'm saying root. I don't like practice like root. You got to. So if not, you know what? That pastor ain't gonna tell you who, who you are. Straight up. Right? So you that, see, we don't like I don't like watching them either, I but you know what? I don't really listen to anything that's in the church. You don't really why, why you go to church if you ain't gonna listen? I love church. But don't go. Don't go back. See why? Why? Because you know, know what, Micah 3 and You know what the pastor's doing to you? I don't believe what they're saying. You don't believe what they say? Don't go in there then. Come come on this side. That's come over right. here with us. Cause we're gonna teach you what thus says the Lord. That's right. Right? Read that. Micah chapter 3 and verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward. Because they're teaching you, they call so called teaching you, they, they want your money. When the, the church get past, he be like, oh, he don't even get started good. Oh, pass the plate. Right. For what? For what? You giving your rent money away, now you got a bill, dude. Because he's judging for reward. Read, right? Read that. And the priest thereof teach for hire. They teach for money. They're not in that church or in that position to teach you anything that's righteous out of this Bible, that's right? right. So on the sign at the top, you so-called American flag, right? So that means you come from the tribe of Judah. That's your tribe. This was your name before you came on this side of the, before you came on this side of the globe. Judah. Judah, Jew is sought for Judah, Jew. Like the Jews you see today, that ain't that ain't the real Jews. Them white people with them funny hats and the curly cues on the side of it, that ain't. They in the wrong land. They in the stolen land. Right. Right. But what am I showing you? That you're a princess of God. That's and you're right. You're special to God. We have to know that. Read that. Read that. Jeremiah chapter fourteen and verse two. Judah mourned, and the gates there are language. Language because we don't have no leaders, right? They are black. The Jews are black. It didn't say that some white man with a, a black turban on his head with curly cues on the side of his head. He said, they are what? They are black. They are black, right? You're special, sis. You don't know how special you are, right? A chosen people. So the Bible said, you're special people. But we don't, we look at ourselves and be like, ah, I don't look the way I want to look. Hell no, I don't look the way I want to look. But you know what? I know I'm special in the, in the sight of the Most High. Why? Because right. he chose us and not no other. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people. He said, we are a holy people. Set apart. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. What's your name, sir? Linda. The Lord thy God has chosen you, Linda. Read. To be a special people. To be a special. When something special, you got a special shirt, a special pair of shoes that you wear, right? It's special to you. There ain't nothing, ain't no other shirt or shoes like them that you love those shoes, right? That's how we are to the most high. Read. Unto himself above all people. So we are above all people, but we don't know it because we don't know the Bible. Right. The right. church don't teach us the Bible, right? right. We're not taught that we are special people. A set apart people. Read on. That are upon the face of the earth. That's on the face of the earth. Anywhere you go, you're going to see us. We might speak another language, but that's us. That's right. right? We're scattered because we're scattered. We're scattered across the, the, the globe. When they put us in slavery, they didn't just take us here. They took us everywhere. Anywhere you go, you're going to see us. You don't know how you know us? Because there's a ghetto there. That's right. And we're in it. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it up. The, and the Lord, I'm sorry, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He said he'll bring us into Egypt again with ships. Not that Egypt. Ah. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. By the way that Moses told us that we were going to come into slavery again on slave ships because we disobeyed God. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. So we're not going to see that Egypt anymore again. That Egypt right now is desolate. It's got Arabs living in it. Right? Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. There we were sold unto our enemies. Look at that. Three quarters of the way down on, the, on your left. Selling us into slavery. Right? You believe we were sold into slavery, right? Read on. For bind me and bind and bind women. For bond men and bind, bind women. Slave men and slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man can redeem us. We have to wait on Christ to come back to redeem us. Ain't no man, cause ain't nobody from Africa or Jerusalem came over to take us back to our homeland. Right. Right? That's how we that's how we know that we're the people of the book. That's right. No other nation can say that. 
they read in our book and it don't even belong to them. Right. Right? It don't it don't even belong to them. The Bible tells you that. The book the, the Bible don't he said, why do they have my book in their hand, right? This book was only written for the black, Hispanic, and Native American. Oh, people say you're president. No, I'm not president. I'm speaking what the Bible says. That's right. You got it? Yes, sir. Read. Psalm chapter 147 and verse 19. Read it out. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. Did he say any other nation? He had not dealt so with any nation. He said he didn't he did give it to no other nation, right? Right? He only gave it to one world, and that's the world of the Israelites. That's right. Right? Because you got the fish world, you got the cat world, the dog world, and you got the Israelite world. Right? That's us, see? I'm going to give you one last thing before you leave. I know you got to go. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. You got to know this. You got to know this, sis. This is a start for you. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So, what clothes do a man wear that belongs to a woman? A dress. So, what should a woman be wearing? Pants, right? You understand that, right? So, you know what you gotta do now, right? Got the pants. No, no, dude, no, dude. No. Let him wear the pants. He wear the pants. You wear the dress, cause hey, cause you're his old saying, who wear the pants in the house? And most people that say that are the women, right? But you have to wear that dress or that skirt, right? I don't like dresses. You don't like dresses? And you don't, it ain't about liking them, sis. Right? Because if you don't wear them, right? This is what's going to happen. Except Zephaniah 2. Right? Because if you don't do what God says, according to the Bible, people say we don't have to keep the command. But the most High is going to tell you, if you're dressed in strange apparel, what will happen to you? Read that. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. I mean, dressed in strange apparel that don't belong to you. I'm not, if I stand up in here, stand up here with pumps and on in a dress, you'll be looking at me like, I'm, what the hell is wrong with this brother? Right. Right? right? It ain't about judging. It is about judging. It's about judging. Because right. I know that the shoes, the pumps, and the dress ain't made for me. Because Deuteronomy 22 and 5 says that. Right? It's not. Right. Dress is not made for a man, and pants are not made for a woman. Right? What you have on right now for this is underwear. That's underwear. You think because you got underwear up under the underwear that those, those are pants. They're not pants. Right? That's what you wear up under the skirt or the dress. Nation is men leading by example.